Speaking of Phil from Southern California, you know, I mean, Mickelson took forever. Didn't he take forever? Didn't he take forever? forever? He had that uh, moniker of, you know, best player to never win a major forever. And and this Phil from Southern California kind of has that moniker in the NFL and, and retires with it, retires with it. But, you know, Rivers is one of those guys in the sports world where he's kind of like, you know, Ewing. Wrong time, man. Yeah. Wrong time. Like Phil and Tiger, Ewing and everybody else, Malone, everybody else. Now they made finals, I understand. Wrong time. Tom Brady has made a championship game literally every other year of his career. Every other year of his career. Tom Brady played to get in the Super Bowl. Just a wrong time. It picked the wrong time. And who did he lose to in 06 in that AFC championship game? Yeah, he lost to Tom Brady. Yeah, so, so it's just, you know, if it was another time and there wasn't another quarterback and another franchise that was sitting right there and Phil could have gotten through once or twice, we would be talking about him in the Hall of Fame in a way. But just that, oh, that's that. We're not even going to have an argument. I'm not even going to have a conversation about it. So... You know, I don't disagree with together. you that Phil gets in, but he doesn't get in before Ben Roethlisberger or Eli Manning, in my opinion. Well, he might because Ben's going to keep playing. Um, and Eli might get in before him because Eli didn't play this year. But there will be a case when he's up for being a first ballot Hall of Famer because Fouts was, and there you could oh, make man. this case. And I know you don't believe it, and, and I know a lot of other people might not, and it yeah. really depends on... You know, I imagine, I don't know if Kevin, and he's going to come on an hour too, who's the San Diego or Southern California selector that's in the room that will pound the table for Philip right. Rivers when he's on the table, like whoever was yesterday. I mean, again, as I mentioned during yesterday's show, the vote for the Pro Football Hall of Fame was yesterday. And that's people are still sitting on it. Hey, that information's uh, out there and hasn't been reported yet and nobody's leaked yet as to who were the ultimate yeah, finalists. We made it one day. We made it one day. <laughs> no, no Shocker. Leaks. We made it one day. <laughs> Biden's the president. We still don't know. You know, so um, someone's going to have to pound the table for Phil, but if he is a first ballot Hall of Famer, talk about football gods having a laugh. Could you imagine if Breeze and Philip Rivers going together? I mean, that's entirely possible. I actually can't imagine that, Rich. That's entirely possible because they're both because Breeze, we're assuming, based on everything that we saw, and Breeze is not going to, you know, call what was was it Jeff Triplett who we've had on the show from New Orleans? <laughs> like he's not going to call a beat writer and give it up. <laughs> like he's got an Instagram, he's got a Twitter, yeah. he's got NBC Sports, he's got New Orleans Saints. Right. You know, he's that's what he's going to do. And um, and there's going to be a press conference called one day, and he will have his day. And I would imagine that will be when the season's over. You know, when a, when when a parade has happened, and whoever wins, then then we'll get to hear Breeze. But that would mean again that you know these two war horses of the aughts and the teens of the 21st football century um, could go in the hall together. Unreal. I don't want to take Brockman's argument about telling the story of the NFL, but like Philip Rivers, I, I agree with you, Chris. I just don't see him as a first ballot nah, Hall I, of Famer. I don't see it first. Like, I see Phil probably in the third or fourth round. I mean, Kurt, how long did Kurt Warner make? Yeah, I know. Wait, no, I hear you. Know? you. So I definitely think he deserves it. Amazing career. Right. I mean, he played in, like you said, kind of unfortunate are, to play. In these the, are all fair things to say. In the Brady Roethlisberger era. But I don't think it's fair to say he's not a Hall of Famer, though. That's not, that's unfair. And you're hearing that from people. I don't think that's fair. Yeah, to say. I think that's a little unfair. He's definitely going to get in. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.